Welcome to the Young Filmmakers Project. I'm Tara Cox. Today we're going to see a great example of special effects, thanks to a student from Columbia River High School. Every high school and most middle schools have video production programs where students learn how to shoot and edit video, write scripts, build graphics, and do live shows. While they do all that, they're also building teamwork skills like communication, problem solving, and more. These programs are part of the district's career and technical education department. Check out this great lightsaber battle, which is an exercise in post-production special effects. Oh. I didn't expect you back. Time to change. That's true. You know where we are? You know, I talked to you about this back when you were a little kid. This is one of the last places for the Battle of Earthquake was. I remember like it was yesterday. Two teams, two armies, fighting on control. On the football field, of all places. I mean, what do you expect? It's kind of fit in the moment. Earth versus them. We got our asses handed to us. Enough games! Thanks for joining me. Thank you. So tell me, how big of a Star Wars fan are you? <sighs> Ever since I was a little kid, I, uh, I really enjoyed all the, the fight scenes and all the, the special effects that they did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, have you seen the newest Star Wars? Yeah, I did. Yeah, what do you think about those special effects? Are they? The special effects were amazing. Mm -hmm. Story, eh, not so much. Mm -hmm. uh, why did you want to make this particular movie? Well, since I was a little kid, I've always wanted to make a, a Star Wars video. There's a lot of videos on uh, YouTube that a lot of fans made fight scenes, and I always wanted to make my own. So <laughs> I had the, the chance and the opportunity to uh, make one in video productions, and I took it. What, uh, how much planning went into making this video, and in particular, those fight scenes you're talking about, how much choreography planning did you guys do? Uh, <laughs> when, I, uh, when I got there, when I, I got my group together, my cameraman and mm -hmm. my the the second uh, second actor, he had no idea about anything he was doing. I kind of had this vague idea of what I wanted in my head, and I just kind of winged it. And it could have turned out a little better, but it's, we only only had so much time, so I ended up with what I got. So the choreography was totally unplanned. I just made it up as I went along. It was great. It looked very natural. Thank you. <laughs> um, so what did you learn then in the process of shooting that video and special effects, how those two things come together? Shooting the video was easy compared <laughs> to the special effects. The special effects took forever. I sat there in a classroom for two months uh, just doing special effects. So I got a lot of respect for the guys that do it. Okay, so do you want to give me a tour on how you made those special effects? Sure. So what program are you using? I'm using After Effects. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing when I first started it. Um, so what's the first step on the basics of making a, a special effect? Well, the first thing you need is a box. Okay. And I already have a box here for sake of conveniency. Uh, but what you do is you add these mask points, and those allow you to shrink and create, uh, make the box bigger or smaller. Okay, so and the so box is basically um, creating the space where you're going to have an effect show up, right? Right. Okay. 
Well, so you're putting the box around the lightsaber because you want that to be your special effect point. Right. And, okay, I'll just do it here. The, uh, the box is going to be the lightsaber. Okay. And so what you gotta do is you gotta put the point in the box around the blade. Mm -hmm. I made these lightsabers at home using PVC piping and spray paint. Um, so the red really helps in um, keeping track of the blade. Mm -hmm. so where the edge is against the, the background. Right. Okay. So it's a lot easier to uh, know where it is. Then, so once you got it in a place, you move to the next frame which is that one, and then you do it all over again. Okay. So you have to move that, that special effect box around wherever he's moving the lightsaber. Right, every okay. time. And how every many frames is that, would you estimate? <laughs> well, I shot this in 30 frames a second. Wow. And so that's 30 frames per second. So sure. every, set, every frame, I had to manipulate this 30 times mm -hmm. for one second. And how long is your fight scene? Like two minutes? A minute and a half. A minute and a half. <laughs> took me two months. <laughs> Makes sense. So yeah, that's that's about it with moving it. But and then you add your your effects, your um, make it blurrier. Mm -hmm. uh, and then and you, you get add, that glowing effect. Right. Uh, fast blur. That's what I used. And so you can make it a little blurrier. Mm -hmm. uh, add another one. Just layers of similar effects, right? To make it kind of look like it's glowing. Yeah. Um, so it. Uh, once I was uh, done with the the effects, I was or the the moving of the the box, I was able to um, add in the effects, and if it would work, that'd be nice. <laughs> So what I did, I could just do it on this one, is I, um, I changed the color of it. Mm -hmm. So to change the color, I went to color correction, and then I changed color, or changed to color. So it goes from white to black, because you can't change the color white, so you have to change it from black. Okay. Okay, and then you go from there to curves, which is a very nice uh, color changer. And you change it here. So uh, you get rid of the color that you don't want, green, and it turns it purple. Well, in my video, I have a box over top of it. Mm -hmm. So I have a box over top, and that shows up like this. So with the blur effect and the purple effect, it makes it this color. Sure. So and the white's so, in the middle, and then that purple is coming through on the sides and the back. Right. The and edges. so when you change the, the frames, every single frame, it moves. I see. So. That's amazing. It makes you have a lot more respect for all those special effects you see in movies. Uh, <laughs> How much work they have to do to make that happen, right? When I, when I started off, it, I was I'm like, oh, it won't take that long. It's only moving boxes. No. <laughs> <laughs> took forever. Yeah. So tell me, what do you like about uh, video production classes? Well, it's just, it's an outlet for my creativity. And I always like making things. I draw, I write, but this allowed me to make something and put it out there. Mm -hmm. And so I was able to make stories and um, things from my head. And so it was really cool being able to do that. Yeah. It turned out really great. Um, what do you guys, what, or what do you have going on next? Next? Well, I'm going to the Coast Guard, but... <laughs> Uh, hopefully I can keep my, my creative outlet. Thanks for coming in and joining us. Thank you. Our next film is a comedy from students at Skyview. Well, we're sorry to say this, Mr. What did you say your name was? Steve Nye, the finance guy? But your idea sucks. Next! Uh, hi there. My name's uh, Tiger Stoves. Is it just me, or does he look a lot like you? I don't see it. Well, show us what you've got. All right, I think I have the next best thing in television here. Imagine a survival show where normal people can learn essential survival skills right from their couch. It'll have action, adventure, suspense. I call it 
Guy versus nature. And all I need is the funding where you guys come in. Well, Tiger, is it? We appreciate you coming out, Tiger. It's just... Well, I'm gonna come right out and say it. Your idea sucks. Wait, what? Next! No, wait, no, 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 hold up! What the, the, no, please, stop it! No! Give me a second chance! No! I swear, I have good ideas! I have good ideas! Hey, hey, wait a second, guys. Maybe this isn't such a bad idea. How so? Well, I mean, this guy's a laugh. Even if he sucks, I think the ratings will go way up just from the comedic factor. You may be onto something. Yeah. Alright, let's give him a shot. Hey, guy! Yeah? You're hired. Oh. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Name's Tiger Stoves. Welcome to Guy versus Nature. I'm in the middle of Russian Taiga, away from any kind of civilization whatsoever. And in this harsh environment, I'm going to be teaching you how to survive. Try to keep up. Now, one of the first things you're going to have to do is find a suitable shelter. Although, time may not always be on your side. So you might just have to find a quick spot to lay down and spend the night. Ah, it looks like a good one. Just gotta clear some rocks out real quick and should be good for the night. All right, let me just get coffee here. Now, if you also have the option, try to find some leafy branches or something to cover yourself and that'll protect you from the elements overnight. Oh man, that is not a comfy spot. Oh, frick. Okay. Almost got it. Yeah. See, look at that. Nice and cozy for the night. Now, once you've found your suitable shelter, you're gonna have to make a fire to stay warm in the night. As you can see here, I have a makeshift fire ring, and I'm gonna attempt to light a fire. Now let me explain to you the science behind this. I have got two sticks here. You put one stick down, and you take the other one, placing your between your hands as such, and rub it back and forth very fast. The friction between the two sticks will eventually get hard enough to create a flame. Now, this is going to take me a while, and so I'm going to join back with you shortly. You see? In no time at all, I got a nice rolling fire to keep me warm at night. Morning. It's a lovely Saturday morning by the looks of it. And my, my stomach's mighty rumbling. Let's go find some munchies. Now, oh, if you're looking for food, it's actually a lot simpler than you think. You just gotta know where to look. What's that? Oh, it's my lucky day, mates. A wild Pringles can. Oh, now this species is highly elusive and highly nutritious. Now, can't let this go to waste. Luckily, the Pringles can species it's very easy to pack away. Onward and outwards then. Now, after you have a good meal, you're gonna have to find some water for yourself. Fun fact, the human body can only survive four days without water, but it can survive 30 days or more without food. So you're gonna have to find water fast. Luckily, I know just the trick. If you follow me over here, you'll see what I call an old Dasani. An old Dasani is a perfect tree for collecting water at a quick rate. All you gotta do is go right up to it and give it a hard kick. And a Dasani water bottle comes right out. Refreshing. 
and those are the basics to surviving in the wild. Now just remember, a little intuition will take you a long way. Just look at me, miles away from any civilization, and not a scratch on me. I'm Tiger Stoves, and this has been Guy vs. Nature. Well, I guess we should bring him in. Come on in, Tiger. You, uh, wanted to see me? Yes, Tiger. It's about your show. I'm just gonna come right out and say it. Your show is the absolute best thing we have ever had on this station. Congratulations, Mr. Stoves. All right, then. Uh, I can tell this is going to be a great partnership. And stay out. Nice job guys. Our next two films also come from Skyview and they both take a comedic approach to traditional genres. First up, a story about cops and crooks. You're the... You're the killer sheriff who's been talking about, aren't you? That I am. And your name is, uh, Billy, right? Why should I tell you? Ha 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 ha. I had a feeling you'd act like this. Now, Billy, come with me. Cool, is that you? I haven't seen you since, uh, uh... Well, uh, how are you, Cole? Oh, yeah. It's been wonderful ever since my wife died and I lost my, my favorite big toe. I miss that big toe. Look, Cole, it's been eight years. The unit was just informed of a huge kidnapping case. And we need your detective skills. Yeah, well, there are other detectives around here. Why does it always have to be me? I believe you're familiar with the prime suspect. I see. I'll do this, but on one term. What is it, Cole? I'm not taking any prisoners. Please, let me go. I didn't do anything. Ha 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 ha. That's the fun part. Say, are you familiar with the 2001 film Shrek? Oh no, I hate that movie. That's good, because I'm going to make you watch it again and again and again. What? No! Ha 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 ha! Hey. What's that? Huh. 4290 Cherry Tree Drive. This could be his hideout. This could be just what I need. Trying to leave Orly, huh? I don't think so. Okay, I'll watch Shrek again. Please, Mr. Chair, please don't hurt me. Oh, it's too late for apologies now, Billy. You're coming with me. You let him go, Chair. Long time no see, my old friend. Hey, I thought you retired. Well, uh, let's just say I'm back in business. Now, there's something else I have to take care of. 
Ha 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 ha. Still haven't gotten over your wife's death yet? Well, guess what? She's gone. There's nothing you can do about it. Hey, you knocked that off. <laughs> if you're going to kill me, there's one last thing you should know. What? It was me. I'm responsible for your wife's death. I knew the whole time. Ah, oh, this cannot be happening to me. I cannot be defeated. No! Think again. Goodbye, chair. So let me get this straight. Killer chair is actually dead. Positive? Dre Roy Cole, we could have never done it without you. Uh, please. Call me Inspector Rice. Pizza for Philip.
Our final film comes from Geyser Middle School, where students learn how to make silent films.